Hello and welcome back to another video. It's great to have you here and thank you for tuning in. Uh, today we have a video all about how you can get your photos from here to here and then to here using Lightroom Mobile. Let's do it. Okay, so we have the pictures on the memory card and we have the lightning SD connector which you can get for a compact flash as well and we have the iPad. We are now going to transfer the photos from here to the iPad. So we have Lightroom open, the album's empty, it's an album called Edit Swap which I use just to swap photos between my iPad and the computer. We take the connector, we plug it in like we do a normal charger and in three or four seconds hopefully, aha here we go, it asks you if you want to import them. So we are going to continue. We are going to just, I just normally just swipe through to pick them all like that. Just one finger swipe and import. So they are now importing into the album edit swap, which you can see here at the top of the screen. So once that's done, you close, you go back to edit swap and it's got the hopefully six images. You've got the six images. We're now going to jump over to Lightroom on the computer and eventually in maybe 20 seconds or so, those six images will appear in the edit swap folder in Lightroom Mobile. So we have this collections area down here, which many different things you can do, but one of them is from Lightroom Mobile and there is the option to set up other ones here. Um, so I may have to do another video actually on how to set these up, but let's pretend that that's set up already because they talk pretty well between each other anyway. Um, when you set an album up on desktop, it appears on your iPad anyway. So this shouldn't take too long, I hope. Um, there's no reason why they shouldn't start coming through in a minute. Here we go. So that maybe did take a little bit longer than 20 seconds, but one, two, three, four, five, in a minute, four, five, six, actually, six. They're big files though, they're um you know the high res images, they're they're not small JPEGs, well they are JPEGs, but they're not they're not small res, they're six thousand by four thousand, so it is gonna take a few seconds. Uh, there we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. That finished pretty quick. Okay, so once they're set up, you can of course do any edit you want to. So let's just go into develop. Let's just make this, oh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it really bright and black and white, just so we can see what's happening. Um, and then eventually if we go back to the iPad, this is the photo that I think I've edited. Again, it might take a few seconds to um, to update, but eventually this photo here will go back and white to match what I've done on the screen. Uh, so let's give that a second or two. There's no reason why we need to do that for this video, but in the interests of shooting, learning and sharing. We are gonna wait for those changes to sync, which I'm sure they will any minute, because it is technology. Never work with children, animals or technology. There we go, at last, done. So there's the change made. Okay, so we have six in images in the edit swap folder on the iPad, and we have six images on the edit swap folder on the desktop, or on the Lightroom on your computer. So we now wanna get those into onto your hard drive. So I have got this, I've set it up just for the purpose of this video. 
a folder called camera to Lightroom to Mac which is currently empty and it's in desktop tutorials camera and if we go over to here we have desktop tutorials camera Lightroom to Mac ignore everything else on there um, so we can go back into edit swap we can take these images and we can drag them into that folder it's telling us that we're going to move them on disk that's fine you want to get them from your iPad or from the edit swap folder onto your disk so you say move they will still appear in the Lightroom mobile collection but they're now going to be on your disk as well so you can see they're in this folder here and if we go back to the finder window you can see that they are now in the folder here now because Lightroom is non-destructive obviously the images the the black and white changes or the edits that we made on this video on this picture here haven't come through on the hard drive on the original file but they're showing up in Lightroom but that's that's the beauty of it being non-destructive it doesn't it doesn't um, it doesn't touch your original image so we have got our photos from the light from the camera onto the iPad and onto your desktop which I think was the purpose of this video so I guess that's all there is to say thank you for watching really simple rewatch it if it didn't quite make sense because I'm not that good at explaining things yet but hopefully it did hopefully you liked it hopefully you got some value if you did give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel for more of these and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.